Hello everybody, welcome to the World of Control channel. I'm Mohammed, and in this video I want to design a feedback linearization controller for a two degree of freedom robotic arm. As we know, we can extract the dynamic model of any robotic arm with Genevieve Hartenberg parameters, which we can see in this slide. And we know that the equation of motion of this system is like this, mq double dot plus v plus g equals to t. Theta 1 and theta 2 are our states, and with some mathematical works, we can extract m, v, and g, as you can see in this slide. Uh, now we know the dynamics of our system, so we know that in the feedback linearization controller, we need to cancel out all of the nonlinear parameters, which are extra and we need to uh, actually redundant and we need to cancel them out. We know that V and G in this slide, in this equation, uh, are the nonlinear terms. So in our control law, we use plus V plus g which these two terms here are our feedback linearization term and after that we can see that we have these three terms here minus kp multiplied by r minus kd multiplied by the derivatives of r and ki multiplied by integral of uh, actually sum of our r which these Three terms are our PID controller. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, our we can we can have some conversations with uh, our Gmail, the world of control at gmail.com. Okay, let's start our simulation. Uh, for the saving of time i simulated the dynamic part of our model let's watch out our dynamics here we have a matlab function that creates our mass matrix here uh, as you can see the input is theta that has theta 1 and theta 2 in it our uh, numeric actually uh, values for our parameters uh, which our lengths are uh, 0 0.5 meters and the mass of two links are 4.6 kilograms and 2.3 kilograms we have our mass matrix here and we have uh, our v vector like this which is simulated in this MATLAB function and our g uh, vector that is here and after that all of these three terms goes to this MATLAB function and we have our theta double dot which is our equation of motion the input of this dynamic subsystem is uh, our actually input and we have our initial conditions in this theta 1 0 and theta 1 theta 2 0 here theta dot 1 0 and theta dot 2 0 here and we have our outputs which are theta 1, theta 2, and theta dot. Okay, we know that this input is tau. This output is theta 1, this output is theta 2, and this output is theta dot. We use a max block here to actually augment these two parameters here, which creates for us theta vector now we need to uh, calculate the error we need a sum 
block here. Let's do some work. And we need a constant block to actually set the theta references. Here, for example, we need to regulate the first link on this value and zero. And we need theta dot references, which we need them to be zero. Now we need to feed back this term here and calculate our error and of course use another sum block to calculate our e dot e dot term here and we need an integrator to have the integral of e this one is int of e uh, now we can create a subsystem and use e e dot integral of e v and g and we have an output which is tau let's save the simulation okay here we need e e dot integral of e and we need v and g from this dynamic model i will create a V and copy paste it here and delete this one. I use this one to have my G block for my controller and let's delete this one. Here is V, here is G and now I can add a gain block to set my kp minus 20 this one kb minus 10 for example we can set them another time k i to be for example minus 30 e dot multiple by minus 10 integral of e my uh, multiple by minus 30 and we can use a sum block here to i need five plus terms Now we can add all of these terms to each other. So this output is our input. Let's add this one to our dynamics. And now let's show our results. I would use a dmux to actually uh, 
make some comparison between two parameters. Now we let's let's have some changes here to have a better display. I need two inputs. Okay. This one is theta one and this one is theta one red. This one is theta two and this one is theta two red. Okay, let's run the simulation to see if the system is controlled. No, we have some issues with our controller. Let's change these values to some proper gains. And after that, run the simulation. Now our controller is working, but uh, we have some, um, actually not good control here. So we can add, we can actually decrease this term and increase this one. We should know that with changing these, uh, we can have a better results. Let's see if yes, we have some better control here. Uh, we can see that our system has been controlled. Let's increase simulation that our controller is working. Uh, let's watch out our inputs. We have tau one and tau two. We can see that we have some amount of input here, but with changing these values, we can have better actually costs. No, the control is not good. So let's increase this term. and this term. Okay, now we have a nice control for our theta one and theta two. Uh, you can see that our controller is controlling the system very well. So, and let's change some initial conditions here. For example, theta two starts from p divided pi divided by nine, and we need it to be um, actually pi third to make sure that our controller works in every census. Now we can see that our theta one and theta two is controlled very, very well. We can change the um, controller parameters KP, KD and KI to have a better actually results without, for example, overshoots or 
with the specific uh, settle, settling times and rising times. Uh, thank you very much. Make sure that you subscribe this channel and make sure that you like this video, please. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below this. Uh, I will answer your questions. And af after that, uh, you can have contact with me with our Gmail, the world of control. Thank you very much. See you soon.